Well, the Queen City is a town of transplants. We've told you uh, many times recently how hard it is to buy a house here. Oh, yeah. I'm shaking my head on that one. Okay, but what do you really know about who owns the house next to you? Fox 46's chief business correspondent Taylor Young explains tonight how there are bold buyers shaping neighborhoods across Charlotte. Investment firms with ties to Wall Street are scooping up Charlotte's housing supply, enticing home sellers with cash offers and less demands. It's impossible to really compete with that or very difficult to compete. Investor purchases from LLCs have increased by more than 100% across the U.S. And the Charlotte market is a prime target. Unlike previous years, these homes are not immediately going back on the market to local buyers. Oftentimes they're mortgaged. They use them as you know long-term retirement assets, things like that. Um, but we're seeing an influx of out-of-state real estate investment trusts. So mega companies, um, think all the big investment companies out of California and New York coming in and purchasing massive tranches of um, typically newer single family homes. The city's housing and neighborhood department says while it's aware of investors dipping into the already tight market, there's no way to monitor or prevent it. So what is being done to help keep neighborhoods locally owned? Tonight at 10, in a special report, Buyer Shutout, we dig into the numbers and tell you who is buying up Charlotte and how they're doing it. Taylor Young, Fox 46. Mecklenburg County homeowners who are struggling to meet house payments can now receive help. The Homes Program is a grant that will pay up to $340 to pay down homeownership costs, and there are some requirements applicants have to meet before applying. Their property has to be within the county. They must have lived in their home for at least three years, have no more than one late tax bill, and meet a certain income level. You can apply at mecnc.gov slash homes. The deadline is the end of October.